Hey, how's it going? Brian's here. So today, um, I was asked a question about what it was like to be a food runner in uh, New York City. So I figured I'd answer a few questions like, what's a food runner? What do they do? Side work, responsibilities, tips, where, how to get into it. How long was I a food runner from? What did I learn on the job? How much money did I make? What did I hate about it? And uh, what did I have to know or whatever? So what is a food runner? A food runner, short and sweet, is someone that brings food from the kitchen to the table, and they might have some other responsibilities too, but the primary function of a food runner is basically um, food comes out in the kitchen, and then you bring it to the right customer on the table. That's th basically the short and sweet of it. Um, obviously, you, well, no, well, not obviously, you have other work that you have to do too, like you might have to help clear tables, take bins from the bus bin and bring it to the dishwasher. You might have to help the chef out with whatever they need in the kitchen. Um, in my case, I help translate from English to Chinese and Chinese to English to help the communi uh, kitchen communicate, communicate between the chef and the servers or management, um, prepare like the physical plates and make sure that there's enough plates to put the food in, and sometimes you have to read the ticket and then fire the order if you're a food runner slash expediter, which is kind of like a mixed job where you basically uh, tell the kitchen what food needs to be out. And then you can do things like do very light garnishing on the dishes if, if that's like part of it too. But yeah, so basically that's a food runner, the guy that brings the food to the table. Hi, how are you? Here's your, for example, your octopus with Kalamata olives and yogurt dressing and lemon zest, whatever it is. So basically you describe the food to the guests really, really briefly, like this is your X, Y, and Z, and then you have to know allergies and stuff. So that's that part. Side work, so basically you can do whatever, I mean, this is sort of like a catch-all, like whatever the restaurant needs, they can constitute a side work. In my case, it was making sure that all the sauces were set up uh, for the customer, putting the bread into the oven to heat it up before you bring it to the customer, doing napkins for the trays and plates to put the bread in so it looks good for the customer, um, like organizing all the sauces, putting it away for the next day, whatever, like stuff like that. It's just little nuanced bits of side work, or clean up and, and like putting away stuff. That's just part of the side work gig. Or occasionally when I got to a table and I had to take plates away and bring it to the dishwasher pit, that too. So responsibility is really like anything the restaurant needs you because it's sort of like a cash all, but the primary thing is to bring food to the table. Uh, tips. So if I worked in a pool house, which meant that I made a percentage of tips, I made less than uh, the waiter in terms of tips, but more than the bus boy, because it was considered a higher position than a bus boy. Cause they, they have this hierarchy, like waiters are at the top in terms of the tip pool and bartenders, depending on how they split that up. And then below you are, are busboys in terms of tips and what you make. So um, if it's a tip pool, all the tips that the waiters bring in in the night that the customer leaves, you get a percentage of that on top of your hourly wage. Where um, I was a food runner in Manhattan, a few Manhattan establishments, predominantly uh, Park Avenue. How did I get in? Well, I needed a job in college and I was desperate for one. So my father worked in a Chinese restaurant. He had a manager manager was good to him and he was good to the manager went to a new place and they needed employees and workers and then I got in by recommendation because I also spoke Chinese so that that helped me um sort of like jump from being a, a busboy into being a food runner because at that establishment um you had a kitchen and then a lot of the kitchen staff didn't speak English so they spoke Chinese so I, I was able to bridge the communication gap uh, how long was I a food runner for? I think like three to six months, some, something around that period of time. Um, because after a while, I, I, I became a waiter and then bartender later on. But it was like a good experience. What did I learn about the job? Um, I, I learned how to be very, very polite. I well practiced being polite, being cordial, being prompt, running and doing whatever needs to be done with a sense of urgency. I learned a lot about food, how the kitchen operates. Uh, on the back end so like there's a front of the house which is like service like waiters and managers and hostesses and they're sort of like the front face of the restaurant and then you have something called the back of the house which is is all the cooks like uh, cooks uh dishwashers food prep and all that stuff that happens in the back so 
I learned really about, it was like a way to get hands-on experience kitchen in. Like if I had to prepare sauces or like some light stuff, like ingredients for the cooks, I could do that for them. So I, I got to learn a lot about food and watch it being made and stuff like that. How much money did I make? So if it was like a good day, I might make like 140 bucks in tips if it's like a really, really good shift at that place. And this isn't inclusive. And then on a bad shift, I may make, make like 20 bucks or 30 bucks. Really depends on how busy the night is and how many customers. Um, what did I hate about it? I, I hated being sort of like, if the front of house and the waiters, they're, they're like mad at the kitchen, the kitchen's bad at the waiters. You're sort of like the middle translation point between the two. So you kind of eat it from the front and back and you're like the middle person in between. Um, what else did I hate about it? I hated that it was just a food runner. As in like, like uh, you would see like waiters and they look like they got all the glory for all the service and stuff. And you're like bringing the food. And I didn't like the fact that I made less steps than waiters, but it comes with the position. So what I hated about it isn't really like, it's like, I don't want to say like it was like a terrible thing because it wasn't, there were like a lot of good aspects. I want to like balance it out. Uh, what did I have to know? I had to know how to, and I learned this on the job, how to hold the tray and how to like balance trays like with my hands. And then um, I'm a really tubby guy. So so it was sort of like one of those things where um, I had to like get used to running up and down stairs and like to tables and back. So it was a lot of cardio. Um, and that was a lot of practice. And I was like a really big guy that like up from appearance wise, didn't look like I could do my job, but I ended up being able to do my job because I, I, I got fortunate or, or like, I just cared, um, a lot of love. Uh, so yeah, what do you have to know? Just be really nice to people. Um, be nice to the, like, like you're in hospitality. So number one is service. And it, it, it goes for like how you treat the customers with respect. If they need something, obviously you help tell the waiter, you tell the busboy, or you just get it yourself. Um, being proactive in that, that sense help. You also have to be very polite and, and sort of like, um, like a catch-all help for management or your colleagues best you can. Because the, what, what, what I have to know is like, like um, I had to know food, the allergies. I had to know how to read a ticket. I had to know how to carry trays and just be like professional and courteous. So anyway, that's my quick rundown of um, what it was like to be a food runner in New York City. I hope it helped. And let me know if you have any questions below. Happy to do this again.